Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? You know who it is. It's Mr. Let me, hold on. Let me turn on this TV real quick. All right, now let me get back to let your hands. I want to talk about something that I don't understand people are doing, which a lot of us are doing, but... Uh, you don't want to do. Today we're going to talk about why aren't y'all practicing better economics and better common sense on the internet. Now, I, I want all the, I'm on all the social media networks, so friend me, uh, subscribe to me, tweet me, do whatever. It don't matter to me. I'll get back at you. But when I see folks, let me tell you something. You see, I, mean, I'm, I hate to repeat this. I sound like a parrot, but I sound, I sound like the DNC, another black parrot, but uh, the problem is, when I go on Facebook, I see a lot of banging, a lot of stupid stuff. I see a lot of, a lot of, a lot of real, real crazy shit. But the problem I have is, why are people trying to get paid off of what they're doing? There's people out here that are like doing twerk videos, almost nude, fully nude, 20 billion pictures. They're, they're, flashing, their, they're flashing their money, which is fuckery to me, but who does that, but I digress, I'm going in, and like, I was in this one group, and I kept, I, to me, it was with myself, I know there's other people that talk about this too, well, I'm like, the internet out here, if, if say, you, say you're getting into it on Facebook, and I can, I can see YouTube to a point, because that's what it's set up for, it's, it's a, a, YouTube's a clash of opinions, you say you make a video about X, Y, and Z, and that's your belief, Maybe somebody who has a different belief, maybe it'll make a response video, and then I understand the, I understand that when you use it on Facebook, it's confusing a lot of folks because I could say something, and other people don't understand what rhetorical comments are, or people don't understand what sarcasm is, and so they run with that statement like you're making a definitive fact, and people don't understand that whenever you say, well, every, you're making general statements, which that's the dumbest statement I ever heard. You're making general statements. You're not making general statements. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. There's, there's no. There's no way possible on, on God's green earth that everyone can say everything is the same. There's no way. It's 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 not infinite. It's not an infinite. Infinite. What's on the infinite number? Infinite number. It's not like infinity where it goes on. I, if I make a statement saying, well, and I have made this statement, I said, blacks have voted for Barack, Barack Obama, and now we're mad because Obama's not doing anything for you, but yet, you didn't ask Barack for anything. Now, and, and then I get responses, well, I didn't vote for Barack, I didn't vote for him. Yeah, I know that. I don't, need to hear, I don't need to hear who you fucking voted for, nor do I care who you voted for. I'm just saying that generally, overall, now, blacks did that. Now, back to lecture and What I don't understand is on Facebook, especially like Twitter, why don't you pull your money? If, if they can make money off of your beef, you should make money off of them. Like, if you if you look them up, like, and I'm, I'm telling people, how to, I'm showing people how to do this also. If you, I, I'm on YouTube, every other one on social stuff. What I do is I link all my stuff together. Like, I'm like, like, if I drop a video here, it goes on my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Google Plus. It's all linked in. See, I'm trying to find different avenues of revenue. And I'm showing you guys how to do different avenues of revenue. But, but unfortunately, you know how motherfuckers are? They try to fuck it up for you. So I'm trying to show people how to do it so they can do it. Now, I'm not making Now, I still work. It ain't like I'm making a million bucks doing this. But yet, I'm making some residual, I'm making some residuals off it. I don't want to lie to you people. But at the same time, is this is still fun to me. I mean, it's always, well, this is always going to be fun because I get to share my opinion. And, and guess what, folks? I'm helping people. Like, when I get emails saying I thank you because of some of the stuff I didn't know before. Like, here, and here's the thing about it. A lot of you people like to stay in misery. That's why I have a lot of my videos, which I didn't think were going to do fucking well, have done well. I, I, can make, I made a video about how to stay afloat when the market crashed, because like I said, I know what it's like when the market crashed, because we came under, we came under 
Jimmy Carter, whenever they were laying everybody off, we came with the Reaganomics. And like, and our area was in, our, in like the Pittsburgh, when we moved to Pittsburgh, let me, let me get you people to understand something. At that time, Pittsburgh was Detroit. Pittsburgh was Stockton. If you lived in like Cleveland, Buffalo, all these cities, Rochester, all these little cities, you know, were like this. All these cities were hitting, that's what they called the Rust Belt. We all flattened out. We all, we were like, we were gone, we went through a thousand, that was us like for like a decade or so. But we we sucked it up. And I mean, we, I mean, everybody, everybody I mean, blacks, whites, the Hispanics we had there, the Asians, we sucked it up. We didn't go around like you do now and you guys are crying about how broke you are. There's people, there's people today who I know that are working at Walmart, the store, not even the distribution center at Walmart pays halfway decent. I'm talking to people at the Walmart store itself who are feeding their family just off of that. Because they are making do. Now, if they want more money, they get a second job, which a lot of y'all don't want to do well hell. A lot of y'all don't want to get a first job to begin with, so if you're never going to get a first job, you damn sure ain't going to get a second job. But that's what we do back in that area. We, we come from a depressed, and when I say depressed, I don't mean we're all sad. I mean depressed is defined by the government. We're a depressed area. So you add the fact that we're a depressed area under the fact that we came under Reaganomics. And I was still doing my thing. So, so if you were getting money under that area, those conditions, you were doing your thing. Now, I just take all that stuff I learned then, and I supply it now. A lot of stuff I talk about is just common sense. It ain't like it ain't like I'm like Albert Einstein here. It's just common sense. If you want, if you want more money, spend the money. Like a lot of people don't understand. Like the start, it's like starting a business. The biggest fallacy that you will hear is. Don't use your money to start your own business. That's what everybody will tell you. That theory is that theory's getting broken. You know why that theory is getting thrown out the window? Because the banks are not loaned. Whenever, whenever the banks start slowing up with the money, the banks are not loaning people money like that anymore. You can get a car to set in the fifth, yeah, or a house, yeah, but the banks were not giving about business loans and personal loans like that, and they're, they're slowly opening up. Like, when I started my video business, let me explain something to you. I have a video business. If you watch some of my earlier videos, I have professional equipment. I do it on the side. And you know why I do it on the side? Because right now, I'm explaining to you people. I have a 9 to 5. As of right now, I can't justify leaving my 9 to 5 because I make more in my 9 to 5 than I do at my video business. But the same, but the, but it's kind of a catch-22. Because if I leave my nine to five to go to my video business, I know my video business will kick pick up. Because every time I'm free, I'm doing something for somebody. But it's like a double-edged sword. I know that nine to five is like steady every week. I know I can go boom, 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 and I got it. But like the video business, I I I'd, ha I'd have to have set set times and set dates where I know this is coming. So it, it, it's, it's part of me being lazy, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's part of me being secure, and that I, I mean, not that my job is secure, it's secure in the fact that I know it's there for now. So, that's, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I'm being lazy. I, I know I can go to work every day, you know, I still do this, you know, I'm, I'm getting every, different avenues of revenues out of this. You know, I'm, I got, like, like I said, I'm using myself as an example, I want other people to try to do this. Like, I do have a contract, folks, and I don't have all these slave contracts on these, these people, you know, some of these, some of these, and there's big namers who have slave contracts on YouTube. I don't have a slave contract. My contract is with, with Quiz Group. Look up Quiz Group. Go to, I don't know, I endorse this. Right, go to Social Blade, we check your stats, and look, look type, uh, type lower entertainment, you'll see, I'm with Quiz Group. Quiz Group is not based over here in America. Quiz Group is based over, they got the main, they got the main building, the main whatever, brick and mortar place is in Moscow, and their financial things over in Switzerland. I have a signed contract with these folks, and I'm not one of the brightest people, but I got a lot of, I got a lot of guarantees before I sign that contract, if you know what I mean. So I'm not making videos, if you, if you ever notice, I never make a video 
respond to something right away. Like I said, say there's a crisis. You never say, unless it's a detriment to the people out here, I'll do it. But you've never seen me make a, a video like, like spaz out like that. You've never seen me respond to dumb shit like that. You wanna know why? I don't have to do it. And, and like I never did before. I never did it before I got a contract. I never did it after I got signed. The fact of the matter is, I still, I still own. And like I said, I own a lot of these, a lot of these cats. I'm trying to tell you, watch these contracts, because a lot of these cats don't own their shit. I own my shit. I have emails where I made it perfectly clear before I signed the contract, and, and after I signed the contract, I own my own shit. Like a lot of you dudes, read me if you didn't get the contract. You better watch out because you might not own your shit after, after, after. Look, man, everything is said and done. The bottom line is, they get me what they have to get me in the contract, and I do what I have to do in the contract. Well, I mean, right now they they kind of violated like twice, but at the same time, it's not worth it for me to leave and say, oh, "I'm leaving." You violated two parts of contract. It's not worth it right now for me to do that. It's not it's smart. Let's put it that way. But like I said, I have an out if I need one. And that's the problem a lot of y'all guys. A lot of, and like I said, I'm not the smartest guy in the, in, in the world. I just took the time to do the research. And I work every day and I do the video thing every day. I just took the time to sit out there and do the research. And that's all you need to do. Do some research. I don't know, like I said, I'm not making a, 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 a load of money off the internet, but I'm making... Um, I'm not